the Thursday of uh, Easter week and later today it's uh, going to be announced almost certainly that the lockdown will continue for at least another three weeks and a number of commentators have uh, taken note of the fact that it's being described as a lockdown and uh, have reflected on the different ways in which we use the word lock uh, so prisoners tend to be locked up uh, and sometimes you might find people locked in in a building and yet in this case all of us find ourselves locked down staying put unable to move anything like as far as we would normally wish to do so and in terms of being locked in the gospel reading set for the Sunday after Easter has the story of the disciples in the on the first Easter day in the evening locked in they were behind locked doors for fear of the Jews so whether it's being locked up locked down or locked in being locked up being locked down or in freedom and lack of it plays an important part in the imagery of the New Testament and particularly actually at Easter time and one of the traditions for the Holy Saturday, the day between Good Friday and Easter Day, is that Jesus descends into hell, as the Creed puts it, and there he releases those who have been trapped and imprisoned. He sets them free. And this idea of Jesus being able to set people free is an important part of the whole of his ministry and actually applies elsewhere in the church's calendar and liturgy. The Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, contains the verse, O come thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, and close the path to misery. And this Sunday, the collect for the second Sunday of the Easter season, reads as follows. Risen Christ, for whom no door is locked, no entrance barred, open the doors of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace to the praise of God the Father. Amen. And what I love about that prayer is the sense that even if we try to lock Jesus out, perhaps intentionally, perhaps unintentionally, Jesus is never locked out. No door is locked to him, no entrance barred. Let us pray that he will continue to unlock and open the doors of our hearts. Thank you.